Here we go. And third flip, grabbing the ankles. And okay, from here, again, my thumbs on the back, not my glass. You're bending your knees there. Yes, I bend a little bit here. Okay. Just to get it, just so that I can reach your shoulders first. Yeah, because I had that moment where it's like, wow, her well, shoulders so are way up high. there. And it's also less painful. Barreling down yeah. this way. So bend here, so it's more here. Then you can straighten them. Then point the toes. Now watch. Bend your knees, Siobhan. Put them on my, put them, there you go. Just stay tucked. So I transfer my feet from her hips now onto her legs. And then she can slowly walk them out towards her knees like that. Straightening her arms on. There you go. Now keep your weight on my feet though. Like that, there. So you can't straight them all the way yet. Your arms mm -hmm. are long. Longer than half of your legs, so. Right around there is good. So now it's not all in my hands. It's a little bit in my hands and a little bit on her legs too. Then she can slowly choose one leg. Let's choose this one and then extend straight towards the sky. And I still have some of the weight on her legs, so it's not so much. Yes, let's try that one. Okay, that's better. Because that's the angry shoulder. That's actually further than straight, just so you know. That's straight. Nope, that's not straight. There you go. Ah, oh, my right shoulder, down. why? You feel <gasps> that there on the shoulder? Yes. There's a lot of pressure. Only on that one. Though. Yeah, so if you feel too much pressure there, keep your legs, both of them, tucked on the legs first. So it'll be less, less pressure. And to come down once again, I would walk them over towards the hips, forward leaf style. Ah. Ah. And then hand to hand, and then 